we will do the hearing tutorial wait let me put the audio first okay so let's begin so previously we have included the sight perception in the AI if I click play which I have come on okay my computer is little laggy perfect uh, so now when I am moving like when I am going back see here you can see he is gone and now he can see me right so previously we have done till here so today we will include the hearing perception so let's switch to visual studio so previously in AI character what we have done we have included the sight sense so in the same way we will include the hearing sense so for hearing sense it is UAI sense config underscore hearing okay I will name it as hearing sense or hear sense default sub object it is UAI sense config underscore hearing and I will keep the name same so I don't get confused hear sense perfect we have this error because we haven't included the header file so what you can do uh, you can just open Google and do the <coughs> UI sense config underscore hearing uh, but I know it just uh, it is for in the same folder so I will just include it perception underscore AI sense config underscore hearing perfect now this error should go okay so next thing what we will do we will include the radius like here we have the site radius so for here we have to set the uh, radius okay till till what distance the AI can hear the sound so for that we will click here sense okay dot hearing range hearing range is I will keep it as 3000 so it is the max hearing range which I can hear okay so uh, now I will include the uh, like low lose hearing range like of uh, at what distance I will lose hearing so I will keep it as 3500 uh, I don't want to set the age next thing we have to include the detection by affiliation like we did in the sense site sense so here sense dot detection by affiliation dot be detect neutrons I want to be neutral I don't want specifically for enemies or friendly okay so I will keep it is true so we have done the things in the AI now we will switch to the playing character and we will do it in the same way in the AI character live like in previous tutorial I have told you that play it is important for player to register himself because AI will start responding to the senses because of the registered player okay it doesn't make sense let me explain it again like if AI is here there are multiple objects okay so it will not be feasible if AI uh, is responding to all of them so that is why we have to register uh, a player or the actor which you want to perceive like if AI will respond to after seeing that player or not so for that we have to include the uh, component so in previous class we have in previous tutorial we have included that component in player character so AI can respond okay so in the same way previously we have included the site sense so today we will add the register for sense and here we will include subclass of 
here uh, it was the UI sense site and for hearing it is you AI sense underscore hearing we have to include the header file uh, because of that it is giving me this error so we know that it is in the same folder so include perception ai sense underscore hearing dot h now this error should go away perfect okay i forgot to put parenthesis <coughs> perfect we are done now we let's test it out if uh, it is working or not now in the ai character let me close this in ai character we have called a function uh, which was on target perception update so uh, we will we should get the after hearing this i am calling this function okay uh, which we have registered yesterday in the previous tutorial so just uh, first control shift b to compile okay so it's in success so uh, now our ai is ready to respond to any noise which we will make but it won't work till now because uh, wait let me put some guns first okay we have this gun and let me put this gun here so we can make some noise i'm switching to the output log okay uh, i have switched to the output log now i have clicked play uh, play always took time i don't know is it problem with my system or is it the unreal okay right now i am here I have picked up this gun press E okay now I am behind this character see uh, now it is saying that he is gone now if we I try to like sh sh shoot now, that AI is not responding right so uh, so there is a uh, there is another function which we have to include because AI don't hear sound and we are doing this by code so we have a function called report noise so we will include that in our code so for this uh, we have to look for a code where we have included the fire function okay it was in the base character because we have parented it right so go back to attacking perfect so in attacking we have included that function play sound at location so after whenever we play some sound we have to include that function code okay i want to report that sound so uh, the cleaner way to do this uh, is that we had the class which we uh, named it as mutils right so we will open this and we will create a function it will be a static function and display sound at location sorry just got carried away <laughs> okay i have to include the signature so just copy okay i want this first go to m utils m utils dot h okay now using this variable obviously i should have the world context and the sound to play and the location uh, at which i want to play that sound now for reporting a sound with uh, let me tell you how we do this in the blueprint just there's a function called report noise event see and if you hover over this node it is saying the target is ai sense hearing okay so now you know the class now you know the drill also in just uh, 
okay uh, this is me so it was ai sense hearing okay I want the C++ version so we don't have it here so just put U AI sense hearing and here I will put Unreal. Do we have it now? Come on. Okay just go to the perception and here we will search it out okay. So under perception we have different type of perceptions just go to mm -hmm. okay where is it UAI sense under this we have different type of sense so we want the hearing one we just click click over that okay come on now we have the include file just copy it and we will paste it in the header uh, not in header file we will paste it in cpp file okay now we have the header file now to function we have that function i just go below uh, this is the static function which is a report noise event and it takes these uh, variables so we need the noise location and the okay first let me tell you the what is loudness max range is the range till where that sound will affect like if some bomb is here it will affect this area so this area will be called max range loudness is the uh, multiplier of max range if loudness is one then max range will keep it as it is if loudness is two then if you have specified max range 100 so because of loudness two it will make total of 200 so it works like that if max range is non zero zero or less than zero that means that uh, sound will be heard by everyone if uh, their max range provide that okay so let me explain with paint see if uh, some bomb is here and it's uh, you have specified the max range to be zero that means that uh, it will cover the whole area but let's imagine you have one AI here and you have one AI here both have uh, like 300 range okay let's imagine that both have 300 in and uh, this bomb comes under this AI area so he will receive that sound but he won't okay because it is out of its range so let's begin the coding as you get the Yes, for it. Okay, I was making the function. Okay. Okay, I need some variables also. First, I don't want the loudness because I will uh, keep it as one. I want noise location. We have the location. Okay. Next, we want in range and instigator because these two are important tag is uh, like uh, metadata if you want to include it i don't want for now so we will include these two so it should work fine okay and uh, for default value i will keep it as max in zero perfect just generate implementation this is the shortcut which uh, and Pro, oh, sorry the visual studio or the reshapa provides okay now we are in the function so we need to first we will spawn the sound so previously we having we have seen how we have included the sound so we need the header file first for that sound spawning so include so this went slash game play statics dot h so now i can use the u game play statics come on okay perfect now play sound at 
play sound at location i want this one okay now we have to fill this whole area so world context object next sound and this sound is sound okay next is location and location what is it okay that's location uh one more and i want to keep everything as default so let's keep it in here next i want to respond that sound i want to report that sound so how we will do that we will use the uai array which we have seen it just now ui sense underscore array yes report noise event so i want to use this function first it takes the world context so world context next we want the noise locations which is a location comma i don't want to over uh, like change that value so i will keep it as one instigator we have instigator instigator yes comma uh, i want to put max range default is zero so max range perfect now uh, like every code uh, where we have spawned some sound we will use this function so just go to the base character which is c underscore base character and i have spawned a sound here so we will comment this line and i will include that function of piece here so i am utils and place sound location yes uh, it is get world comma sound is gun using sc fire comma get actor location perfect okay <coughs> sorry uh, v1 instigator it is this and next is max range to i will keep it as default okay so we are ready for testing i have a control shift b okay next thing uh, whenever you do some changes in ai just to make sure to just remove the ai and place it again because uh, sometimes the code doesn't compile correctly so i'm just deleting this ai and waiting for the build to like to be success okay so it's success let's go back to the unreal and we will check for the component first so for the driver open the ai also and we have been, okay so just check for the ai we have ai perception go down just click this button we don't have it here but we have included in the code right let, let me go back to the visual studio and let me check that again ai is here and we have okay we haven't see uh, in ui perception we have configured it for the site but we haven't for the hearing sense so what we will do we will ai perception dot config sense and here i will include for hair sense okay and just conf uh, conferring it for the hearing sense also okay i think i'm done control shift b again it's a success so let's go back and compile and save let's go press this button see now we have these two first is for the site and second is for the uh, hearing so this is perfect now compile and save go back to the player okay now what we will do we will place the ai on our map perfect let's click play 
here we should have the log after my computer allows obviously it's kind of slow I don't know why okay I have picked again see it is saying like in the blow it is saying okay I saw him now I'm gone now I have uh, took my gun out and I'm shouting but it is not responding because uh, it is not printing that log so let's check what we have done wrong uh, okay so let's do a thing we haven't see we have two senses and uh, if AI is looking both and hearing at the same time then we have to set our preferences so for that uh, what we can do AI perception dot dominant set dominant sense and I want to give preference to the side sense so side sense dot get implementation get sense implementation okay so and uh, for hearing sense uh, I want to set age to be zero like uh, till when the AI will uh, till when AI will uh, have the knowledge of that sound so I want it as default so I am putting it to be zero sorry I want set sage set max sage with zero perfect so control and let's comment these functions okay uh, side perception in perception uh, linking function for perception okay it's a uh, good practice to uh, always put comment control shift b now now go back get some success so go back to the end rail uh, go back to mai character go to this component and let's check if we have everything ready just click these buttons and we have see you have dominant sense the ai sense side so we have everything ready just delete this ai and we will put it put him again now we will put him again sometimes it give back so just click play so you uh, like look for the log here No, it always took time. Mm, okay. Okay, so we have our AI here. I am picking up the gun. Now, see, we have these logs. As soon as I start shooting, I am responding reporting noise okay but we don't have that uh, function call yet okay so it is not working for the neutrals so what I did I just switch it on like for the hearing senses I switch it on for the friendliness also okay so B detect friendliness uh, I have set it to true so control s control shift b again so it's success uh, now go back to the NVL go back to our map click play hopefully it should work now come on okay now just picking up the gun and as soon as I hit something see it is saying I saw him so we have that function now uh, it is working 
Let's shoot that guy. So this was the tutorial. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.